guys, welcome back to our channel. What are we doing today, Matthew? We'll be unboxing our spreader. Yep, this is a compost spreader from Vivor. And, uh, well, Matthew been working hard today. We've been, um, so we mowed the backyard and then we beat dash and scarified the backyard or scarified, whatever you want to call it. And we seeded it, we put starter fertilizer down. And now we're going to use this to put down our compost. Or not compost, but peat moss. Hold the box, buddy. So funny. So let's see what we got to do to put this thing together. Not a whole lot to it. That's a good thing. Anything in here? No, nothing in that. Get the two handles out. That's Oh yeah, I thought there's three. Alright, so we should have just some, um, what they call them split pins. I've always called them cotter pins, but let me see this one. Has it got hardware in it? No. I think the box probably has it. No, <laughs> this! No, that's not hardware either, buddy. Oh. Well, where the heck's the hardware at? I'm trying to unwrap this thing without cutting the handles on it. I don't Looks know. Looks like it's well packaged. Oh, there's some hardware right there. Oh. All right. We're in business. So, basically, Matthew. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and unwrap yours. That's fine. Get all this plastic off and uh, we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. We're back. We got it all uh, unpackaged now. So, all you got to do to put this together is... Watch out a little bit, baby. Okay. It just slid on there. It might be. Yeah, it's not too difficult. Oh, no, we got it. <laughs> Say it's not too difficult. I dropped one on the floor. Matthew dropping our hardware already. There we go. All right, what you got? Let's see. All right, so yeah, you literally get. I bet we should have put a washer on before we put the handle on. Kind of odd they give you two or four washers. So let me get a pair of needle nose so we can bend these cotter pins around. But it's pretty pretty simple to do here, guys. So you're going to take take this one back off for a second. Matthew, you want to get the cutters, buddy? Yeah, that's where I was about to go. You do gotta cut the zip ties off the little door on it. But put a washer, your handle, another washer, slide your cotter pin in. Matthew's gonna cut the zip ties off the door of it. Bend your pins around. There's yeah. also some down there on the bottom. Yep, we'll rotate it for you, buddy. Okay, there you go. Get that one there cut. Put this other one on, then we'll get the handle put on it. And we'll show you all how this thing works. Now, let's take cut. our handle. It looks like it's got two different heights on it because there's only one pin in the handle and there's two holes. So I'm going to put it at the furthest one out. Whoops. But try to put it Oops, at I'm the sorry, first buddy. one. There you go. So now, I'm going to let Matthew roll it to the backyard. Oh, we got to watch that shut, buddy. Let him. It won't. For some reason, without shut it. All right, hold on a second here. Let's see. I think these, there we go. Okay. Those has got two little latches on the sides. There we go. So we'll let Matthew roll it on back. And I got, um, I'll show you real quick. We have four bags of peat moss. Hopefully that's going to be enough. And uh, we'll start putting this down on the yard. All right, guys. We got it back here in the backyard now. Let's try to hold it up. Hold on, Matthew. I think these boards come off. I don't know. I thought the door would come off somehow. Matthew, kind of stay on the handle so it don't roll. Stay on the handle. There you go. All right. Like I said, we got some uh, peat moss we're going to put down on top of the grass seed. And then we're going to set up our sprinkler system and start getting some grass growing. They kind of looks like dirt. I did not go with the tall fescue like I have in the front yard. Only because... I don't know why, honestly. I just wanted something that was going to grow fast. And that fescue takes a long time to get going. So, we did a perennial rye, which will be just fine. 
Ugh. No, that's like dirt. Yep, it basically is dirt, but kinda. Let's see if we can get this in there. No, no. Oh my god. Yeah, watch your eyes, buddy. You okay? Yeah. I'm gonna get all one bag in it. It's gonna be hard to get four bags in one time. Well, we're not getting four bags in it at once, buddy. Oh. But if you've never used peat moss, stuff is really good because it just retains water like crazy. I guess it don't gotta be perfect here, but it's trying to get it as full as we could. We just... I got this. You don't have to do that. There's some space. Yeah, right I know there. there's some space, buddy, but I was trying to get some out because, see, I can't. The tart is shut. I can always hold this side. Well, that's just shut. Get it all over your boots and pants. I can't. That's okay. All right. Then what you're going to do. God. Is you're just going to roll it. Can I tell? So, can just I going to do that. Hold on, buddy. I'll let you do it. Oh, my. You can see, like, four in and this is going to cover up your grass seed. Oh, Dad, Plus, it's, for, it's, it's making the white dirt Like I said, it's going to retain me. water, so make this it makes it where your grass seed is going to have a, the best chance to grow. You don't got to follow us, Bella. We got microphones on, girl. It also kind of makes it, it also kind of, all the white dirt kind of makes it work like brown dirt. I really just, I'll try to hit the whole yard if need be, or if I have enough, but if not... At least hit all these bear spots we got. It's there's really no stopping once you get going, kind of like a fertilizer spreader. You, know, you at least have the handle to turn it off and on. Uh, that, that thing's you already really almost empty. You just go. It's almost empty. Yep, yeah, it's almost empty, buddy. So let's go. I do want to start a. Uh, compost bin i got the stuff to do one but i'm a little bit nervous about it because compost bins attract snakes and i don't like snakes so i don't know if we're gonna do one of those or not but what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and uh fill this thing up again we're coming i'll let matthew have a whirl of doing it and uh we'll show you all the finished results see you in a little bit what you think about it i like it because like but it's just kind of hard because like dust all this dark. Follow your line. You're getting off the path, buddy. There you go. All right, go ahead and turn again. Turn. I am. You're wasting product doing that, dude. Every time you move it, you're wasting it. We're just trying to cover our bare spots the most. And four bags was definitely not enough, but we'll make it work. I ain't buying no more. It's too daggone expensive. Well, not really, but I mean. No, you want it? You want this one? Let me try it. Is that like you have it? Tastes like orange. I rate this thing a 10 out of a 10. I think it did great. Could be a little bigger, but you get what you pay for. And obviously if you go bigger, then you can cost you more money. I did have some stuff that big chunks of time in it. That's not a big deal. The cool thing is you just take the handle off, now we can store this in the shed somewhere. I don't gotta worry about it. So thanks for watching. If you're looking for a compost spreader, I highly recommend you get one of these. Uh, right here's a link to it. You can find it on Amazon. We'll see y'all hopefully in a couple weeks when we got green grass back here. Goodbye.